Aloha YouTube, this is your boy Crypto Roots and I'm back at it again with spitting Mo Crypto Game. And shouts out to all my new subscribers, I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much, thank you very much. All right, on some real shit, developers need to get paid too, Craig. <laughs> developers need to get paid too. I'm telling you, man. Like, it's, it's, it's not fair for these people to come up with these ideas for these financial products, for them to bust their ass, all the years of experience it took to learn how to do it, and then to actually implement it, and then other, for, to see other people make millions of dollars or just be able to make a full-time living. Like, yo, it's, they gotta get paid somehow, right? And it's open source technology, so that's why everybody is, people do it for free, people are voluntary, but when it gets to a certain point where Everybody's expecting the developers to do more shit to make them more money. And it's like, hold up, developers hasn't even made a dime off this whole thing. And now you want them to go overtime? Like, and to, to, you know, so you gotta figure out a way to incentivize the developers. But at the same time, if the developers were only designed it for their profit, we enter Microsoft, we enter back in the whole central centralization game again. If it's all about the, 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 the investors and the developers and, and not about the users. So how do we do this the right way in decentralized te uh, technology and decentralized blockchains? Well, so far, there's called a, there's called a, a vesting period, okay? It's like, and then there's uh, different funds and different treasuries. But it's essentially like a blockchain paycheck, okay? It's like a blockchain paycheck where every, so, uh, every amount of blocks, the developer gets to take uh, a, a certain portion of it um, Every, every, it's like every two weeks, right? So if it's, if it's a $10 million treasury, the developer doesn't get to just take $10 million and bounce because they have no incentive to stay, right? But if they can get 10K every two weeks, right? Based on the protocol and based on the program that it's, it's gonna allow their account to withdraw that amount from that address every two weeks, then it's more transparent, then it's more open, it's more honest, and everybody can see how much the developers are profiting and track that on the blockchain. And we can see when a developer, they can't get greedy, it limits you. So, so that you kind of have to put these limits up if you want to be an honest blockchain developer, right? So they have, a, they have a portion of their supply, it doesn't just go to them directly, but it's over the next four years, they'll be able to withdraw from this account. Right, every so amount of blocks, which was every couple of weeks, right? So that's how it works in decentralized autonomous organizations. How do you incentivize the developers to keep working and continue working? Well, somehow they gotta get paid, and you as a user can't get too damn greedy, bro. You can't get too damn greedy, otherwise there's nothing for you to even make any money on, right? Because they don't wanna work, they don't wanna maintain the platform, or all the scams are coming up, and so you have to incentivize the developers in the right way, the most transparent and most uh, decentralized way, and right now that's called a vesting period which is essentially like blockchain paychecks and a treasury fund and you need to be uh, 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 you need to be very transparent about how you fund your treasuries where is the money coming from and where is it going going right so how are the developers getting the money and then how are they able to withdraw the money right so this is how it works in uh, decentralized autonomous organizations hit me up for the mentorship I got you peace